What's up crafty peeps? As you can see, we're getting settled in and ready for a new video. Hello crafty peeps. I'm Trina and this is my channel, Trina Creates. This is a space where we get into all things crafty. Nothing's off limits. You may see some crochet. You may see some cross stitch, but stay tuned and see what kind of craft we're about to get into next. So I have a friend and she is a thing for covered bridges. Now she's a good friend and she's done a lot of things for me and I was looking for a way to show my appreciation so I started searching covered bridges to go with her collection. And I found the following on eBay. As you can see it's got the covered bridge, it's over a little brook, it's got the road leading up to it. Now I haven't done a lot of needlepoint, I've done a lot of cross stitch, I'm still learning embroidery, but needlepoint that, that's something that I'm still a beginner at, so I did the best I could. This project had two stitches that I completely was not familiar with. I'm going to get my notes. One was a, a diagonal mosaic, and the other was a slanted goblin. Um, it was parts of the field and... Oops. Parts of the field and parts of the roof. This kit contained everything that you need for the project. It contained, um, what was it? 12 mesh canvas, indicated that it was 100% cotton. I couldn't tell, I just know that it was not plastic. All of the, the threads and the floss and the yarn included in the kit was 100% wool. So if you have a wool allergy, definitely not a kit for you. Um, it actually contained everything except for the stretcher bars and I used my own stretcher bars and it was a uh, seven by seven. Yeah. So that was the only thing that was not included in the kit. Let's get started with the time lapse.
So this is my completed project. The only thing that's left is to do the stretching and get it mounted and framed. There were several stitches that this kit used. Um, the bulk of it was stitched using horizontal and vertical continental stitches, as you can see here. And then here for the, the hill going up to the bridge, it was the diagonal mosaic stitch. And then for the roof, we used slanted goblin. And then once everything was stitched, we used um, straight stitches and a satin stitch over the completed um, needlepoint. I hope you enjoyed the time lapse of this project. It was big fun for me and a great gift idea for someone else. Um, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. Um, hit the notification bell so that you can be notified of future content. I do plan on making sure that videos go out at least once a week. There may be a bonus week where there are actually two. Stay safe out there, stay healthy, and as always, get your craft on. Bye.